The Australian press are embarrassing, sycophantic empire lackeys. Earlier this week, Australia's state broadcaster, ABC News, published an article titled U.S. Military Spies to Embed in Australia's Defense Department to Monitor Regional Threats in Wake of Osman Talks, about one of the many recent developments in the nation's continual abandonment of its last remnants of sovereignty to the most powerful empire of all time. A few hours later, the headline was quietly changed to U.S. military analysts to embed in Australia's Defense Department to monitor regional threats in the wake of Osman talks. Notice the difference? The word spies was replaced with analysts. ABC's editors made no note or explanation for this change. The headline was not made more accurate or clear. These will be military intelligence operatives per the article, who are spies per definition. All that was changed is that military analysts sounds less like a self-debasing abdication of national sovereignty than spies. Looks like Australia's state broadcaster got an angry call from Virginia on Tuesday. Then on Thursday, we saw an article in The Age and the Sydney Morning Herald titled, I swear this is the actual headline, To defend Australia, we must create a national citizen's militia by a man named Anthony Bergen, who is, I swear this is his actual title, a senior fellow at Strategic Analysis Australia. Strategic Analysis Australia is a militarist think tank which is stuffed to the gills with veterans of the malignant, empire-funded think tank Australian Strategic Policy Institute, which has been playing a key role in manipulating public opinion about a future war with China. Successive governments have had a phobia about being seen, even remotely, to support schemes that smell of national conscription, Bergen argues. But should a time of crisis or conflict arise in the coming years, the Australian Defence Force will be forced to expand rapidly and use people who have not had the years of intensive training that is required for our military services. To strengthen national security, we should no longer shy away from looking at options short of conscription models. That wouldn't be hard to sell to the Australian people. The time is right, Bergen adds. To substantiate his claim that the time is right to sell the idea of widespread military service to Australians in order to rapidly prepare for war with China, Bergen makes the following baffling argument. Quote, There is an appetite for political leaders to introduce measures to strengthen national resilience. We've seen in Ukraine just how valuable and effective a trained population can be in defending their homeland where, for the most part, the ranks of its armed forces are bolstered by volunteers, end quote. I mean, I don't know where to even start with this. Can you imagine being so thoroughly immersed in Canberra swamp echo chambers that you think Australians have been watching what's happening in Ukraine and thinking to themselves, now we should definitely have widespread military service like those blokes. You cannot possibly be talking to any normal human beings in your day-to-day life and believe that's an actual thing. Your interpersonal relationships must be exclusively with weird think tank swamp monsters. Bergen argues that Australia should establish a national militia training program to provide basic military training and knowledge to everyday civilians who wish to contribute to the defense of Australia if their home were threatened without joining the military permanently or as part-time reservists. Needless to say, at no time does he ever entertain the idea that Australia could simply refrain from participating in the U.S. Empire's planned war with China. It is not Anthony Bergen's job to traffic in that kind of sanity. Australia's media landscape is particularly conducive to mass-scale militarist propaganda due to the fact that the nation has the most concentrated media ownership in the Western world, with a powerful duopoly of Nine Entertainment and Murdoch's News Corp controlling most of the Australian press, with the aforementioned state-owned ABC making up another chunk of the propaganda. This is how our nation is being marched toward consenting to a military confrontation of unimaginable horror without Australians noticing that something wildly insane is happening. They are being pied pipered over a cliff by a mainstream press staffed entirely with bootlicking empire apologists who will do anything to grease the gears of the most destructive war machine on this planet.